Hi friends, hope you are fine. Today let me share my understanding on oxidation reduction reactions. Hopefully at the end of the discussion, you will be getting a clear cut understanding on what do you mean by oxidation reduction reactions. We have divided this into three cases for better understanding. Case one is oxidation and reduction in terms of oxygen transfer. Oxidation is simply the gain of oxygen or addition of oxygen, whereas reduction is a loss of oxygen. Let's take an example. This iron oxide combines with carbon monoxide forming iron and carbon dioxide. So let us focus on this oxygen. So this carbon monoxide CO is oxidized to form carbon dioxide or oxygen is added to this carbon monoxide. So oxidation has happened to form carbon dioxide. Now, which is the oxygen donor for this carbon monoxide? As you see, this iron oxide is the oxygen donor. Here, 3 CO, here also 3 CO. Both the reactant side and the product side has 3 CO. So, the rest of the oxygen is donated by this iron oxide. So, iron oxide has donated this oxygen and is reduced to form iron. So, reduction has happened where loss of oxygen takes place in the case of iron oxide. The point is oxidation and reduction reactions are coupled. Now let us see the oxidizing and reducing agent. Here iron oxide is the oxidizing agent. An oxidizing agent adds oxygen to another substance. Here this iron oxide adds oxygen to this carbon monoxide forming carbon dioxide. Whereas reducing agent is carbon monoxide that removes oxygen from this iron oxide and forms carbon dioxide. So in terms of oxygen, an oxidizing agent adds oxygen to another substance, whereas reducing agent removes oxygen from another substance. Hope this much is clear. Now case two, oxidation and reduction in terms of hydrogen transfer. Oxidation is the loss of hydrogen or reduction is the gain of hydrogen. Let's take an example to understand this. And this is the step six of citric acid cycle where succinate is oxidized to form fumarate. Don't bother about this structure. We are focusing only on this hydrogen. So succinate has donated this hydrogen to this FAD forming FADH2. So FAD is the oxidizing agent that receives hydrogen from this succinate. So as you see, this hydrogen is donated to FAD. FAD is reduced to form FADH2. Reduction is a gain of hydrogen. Thereby, succinate is oxidized, that is loss of hydrogen, to form fumarate. The enzyme is succinate dehydrogenase as Two hydrogen atom is removed from succinate and is donated to FAD to form FADH2. Here the oxidizing agent that receives hydrogen from succinate or removes hydrogen from succinate is FAD. So FAD is the oxidizing agent. Whereas the reducing agent is the succinate that adds hydrogen to a substance. So here succinate adds hydrogen to FAD forming FADH2. In this example, the succinate is oxidized to form fumarate, whereas FAD is reduced to form FADH2. And FAD is the oxidizing agent as it removes hydrogen from succinate, whereas succinate is the reducing agent as it adds hydrogen to FAD. As you see, oxidation and reduction reactions are coupled. Hope you are clear. Now the final case, case 3, oxidation and reduction in terms of electrons. Oxidation is the loss of electrons, whereas reduction is the gain of electrons. So this is an interesting mnemonic. Leo says Gar. Leo losing electron is oxidation whereas gar gaining electron is reduction. 
an interesting mnemonic. And this is the source of this mnemonic. Now let us take an example. Magnesium combines with copper sulfate forming magnesium sulfate and copper. Here as you see, the sulfate ions SO4 is called as spectator ions not involved in the reaction. So we can avoid that and write the equation like this. Magnesium plus copper Cu2 plus gives magnesium 2 plus plus copper. Let us split this reaction to understand this better. In this example, magnesium loses two electrons and becomes Mg2+. There might be a little confusion. Always remember like this. Giving is always a positive thing than receiving. So whenever an ion gives electron, it becomes positive charge. So here magnesium donates electrons, two electrons, it becomes magnesium Mg2+. Similarly, on the other side, Cu2+, receives two electrons from magnesium and becomes Cu. So let us understand the reaction in the terms of oxidation and reduction. So oxidation is loss of electrons. So magnesium becomes Mg2+, Mg becomes Mg2 plus in the reactant side. So this is oxidation. It loses electron. Whereas copper Cu2 plus becomes Cu, it gains electron. So the reaction is reduction reaction. So here also, as you see, both oxidation and reduction reactions are coupled or happens together. Now regarding oxidizing and reducing agent, an oxidizing agent here it is, Cu2 plus is an oxidizing agent as it gains electron, whereas the reducing agent loses electron. Let me summarize this reaction. Magnesium donates electron and becomes Mg2 plus, whereas Cu2 plus receives electron and becomes Cu. Losing of electron is the oxidation reaction, whereas gaining of electron is the reduction reaction. Hope you are clear with oxidation reduction reaction. Share your thoughts in this topic in the comment section for better understanding. Hope this video is helpful. Take care. Stay blessed. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexcelsfory.com.